All right, technicians, let's think about this. A customer needs additional storage space on an old computer. What will you, the technician, look at in the computer to determine if an additional hard drive can be added? So in my thought, in my head, I need to think about, does, is there space? And when I say space, I don't mean space inside the computer. I mean, is there a space socket wise for there to be like a SATA connection from your motherboard to an extra storage device? Or is there a slot on the motherboard where you can put like an NVMe SSD in? What, what are we gonna do? That's how I would look at that. Are those available? So let's see if that's one of the answers here. Adequate RAM has nothing to do with storage space. Um, PCIe, PCIe expansion slots, that doesn't have anything to do with storage space. That's more for um, like, a, let's say a network card or a graphics card, not anything storage space related. BIOS version doesn't have anything to do with it. BIOS version that's software, completely get rid of that. The heat is generated in airflow around requirements. No, no. We want to see if in an available PATA or SATA or SATA, I, I don't know if it's, is it PATA? PATA and SATA, I know SATA for sure, but let me know in the comments below if it's pronounced PATA. An available PATA slash SATA connection uh, is available. And that's just because these extra, because it says additional storage space, these additional storage devices require this connection to be made in order to give it power as well as read and write data. So that's going to be the answer. A uh, customer needs this additional storage space added to an old computer. As a technician, we need to see if there's an additional PATA or SATA connection. And I've done this in my work quite a bit. You know, consumers uh, or our customers, they want to have more storage. They want to upgrade their storage. So we check to see, hey, can we just throw another drive in there? That's typically the case.